Welcome back. Secretary for Security Laitong Kwok today spoke in defense of controversial draft police guidelines, instructing officers to arrest people who swear at them. Joao de Silva has a story. In the future, scenes like this one last July when teacher Alpai Islam swore at police officers may quickly take a different turn. Draft police guidelines, which are expected to be rolled out as early as next month, would advise police to make an arrest after continuous verbal abuse. But this is raising eyebrows among human rights groups who insist the rules should not encroach upon constitutionally protected rights. They will guide frontline officers how to handle these uh, cases step by step so that uh, they can uh, provide a professional uh, professional attitude in uh, handling these cases. Lai also pointed out that the advice to police officers will not apply to public order situations such as demonstrations. According to the guidelines, police officers should first advise the person verbally abusing them to stop. This would be followed by a verbal warning and only if that doesn't work should the police officers make an arrest. Lai also commented on a drop in the crime rate in 2013. This is a very welcoming situation. But there are, of course, certain areas that uh, the number of reported cases has uh, gone up. For instance, uh, serious drug offences. In particular, the, uh, the number of arrests for children now, aged 10 to 15, uh, has increased. The number of juvenile drug offenders has surged by almost 56%. Lai noted that the majority of them are first-time offenders lured into experimenting with drugs by their peers. To tackle the problem, he said police will step up education campaigns targeting this younger audience. Joana Silva, TVB News.